it uh, makes me motivated to keep trying and uh, it, it motivates myself so that I keep going, you know, because obviously I want to keep improving myself along with helping others. So it's been good. Monica's doing a great job enrolling people. Um, and part of it is her, well, she said it today, A, you're a product of the product and are doing it. So there's mm -hmm. changes that people notice. And then B, she's consistent. I mean, I said to her, she enrolled, what, two people yesterday? Mm -hmm. And I sent her a message today saying, way to go, Monica. I mean, you just started sharing what, a month or two ago? Yeah, it's been quite two. Yeah, and she's enrolled quite a few people, and she said, it's just consistency. So and I said, that's exactly it. You know, you can't post one. This is what people do. Finally, they post once, and then we don't hear from them again, or it's once a week. That's not enough. I mean, those of you that followed me or someone else here on Facebook, it wasn't one post, was it? Or two? It was... And I had, you know, it was seeing repetition that this is, this person is locked in, right? And they're going to help me. Okay, Trudy. Hi, yes. Okay. Um, well, I was excited about losing 24 pounds in three pant sizes. And I was needing something to help me also to sleep better and have more energy. And I've gained all of that. So I'm thrilled and I have enjoyed adding people to my team and the little extra income that I've had with that, but ready to um, realize more benefits from a bigger team. Awesome. There's huge benefits. You're aware of that, aren't you? Yes, exactly. Okay. I'm asking her again. Congratulations. That's a lot of weight to lose. And I know you did it pretty quickly. Yeah. And you're feeling awesome. So what are the things, you guys, in a nutshell, that you're hearing that are the benefits people are receiving through isogenics outside your own store? Well, it's just improved energy, improved health, improved lifestyle, quality of life, all of those things that is natural every day. It's just making a huge difference for everybody. And those are all correct. And I'm hearing the joy of coaching and helping, really, the helping others. Also, I'm hearing income, right? Really, definitely. So look at, I mean, everyone, there's so many people out there, you guys. This is what you have to realize when, when people are, can't get out of their own head, really. The one thing that holds people back in this business, because can, we can teach you everything you need to know, and you can slowly you know, learn to become better at branding yourself, better at social media, better at talking to people, um, but we can't teach you to get out of your own head and get out of your comfort zone and not care what other people think, okay? That is something that you have to work on yourself, and if that's really where you're at, you know, you will eventually get there. And it's really a decision that, um, that you want, you know, how bad do you want this? I mean, so think about why you joined tonight. What do you need and want out of life in addition to the health that we can provide here? In, in like two words, a few people of you share. I mean, be 100% honest with yourself because if you aren't speaking it, you are not believing it. Financial and time freedom. Financial. Well, those are the biggies. <laughs> Can you be more specific? Um, to, like, I guess one of my main, like, one goal of mine is, like, to be able to graduate college debt free and then to not have, like, like, to avoid that, like, financial stress afterwards that so many people go through for 20, 30 years just trying to pay off student loans. Yeah, and that's very real. Awesome. I can completely relate with that. You know what, for me as a nurse, I think one of the most important things is what I feel like before I can really share it with people, I have to be able, like I said, I've had a slow start, so I'm really, i dedicated myself to it. But I think when I, even in the job that I do, I look around and I see all of the obesity and I see the help that people need because it, it's just an, it's an epidemic of obesity. And I think that this is a program to me that's really dedicated to helping people get control of not only their lives, but of their, of their health and of their eating habits. And to me, that's the important part. Then that translate in, in that translate into financial freedom because it's your ability to help others that gives you that reward in return. And then you can offer that to them as well. I can set mindset and you'll be flying high 
I, I can speak. I can speak to that too. The quality of healthcare, um, nutrition really needs to fall in there, and it gets forgotten so many times. Mm -hmm. It really is that important. And I and I didn't know that three months, two months ago, three months ago, I didn't know that. Even when I, I've been doing this for four months, I didn't know that three months ago, but I understand it today. You know. Yeah, because you're understanding the food you eat is so corrupt, really. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, even still, I have to be careful and look at things that we buy from the store like, ah, because what was it that I had the other day? And Seth was like, oh, I just was at Costco and we were in a pinch and I picked up some wraps for dinner, like already made, you know, and he goes, I'm pretty, they were green, the spinach <laughs> ones. He goes, I'm pretty sure these have the dyes and stuff in them. I was like, no. Oh. And I'm like, I love Costco so much that I forget sometimes that like not everything's good for you there, right? And I was like, oh my God, they do. And I like couldn't even, you know, so like who would, would I have checked for that three years ago? Nope. You know what I mean? And it's a chemical that is toxic to your body that's allowed. And these are things, now how many people think they're eating healthy while going and buying a chicken wrap? Mm -hmm. right. Probably, you know? Yes. So it's way further gone than we think. It's aside from the people drinking the pop and eating the chips every day, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey mom, by the way. These have soy in them. Yeah, I know. Just put them down. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, um, Amber, dear. can you hear us now? I can. I can. Okay, we'll get this figured I out later. Like, Easy your face and we can hear you. Amber just enrolled okay. today, and I invited her tonight, and she's here. Let's give it up. Ooh, very nice. Which is also proof you do not need to be an expert ever. Not just when you first start, but ever, okay, to share this. I still don't consider myself an expert. I've gone through more experiences than all of you have just because I've talked to that many more people that have that many more situations, and I had that many more questions I had to go find the answers to. Does that make sense? It's just by experiences. And so, yes, I will help you with those. Your sponsor will help you with those. We do three-way calls. All you need to do is share your experience and the benefits you're appreciating through this program. People do not give a crap about the science behind it. Sadly, they don't. Now, Barb, you might have. I did. Very few people do. They well, will come to you. You have to realize I work in a business where everything I do is based on evidence. And so right. in my world, everybody wants to know, tell me the evidence behind it. You know, So that's, that's where I come from. And we have evidence, which is yeah. fabulous, right? Exactly. And, that's and actually, is. you are the evidence. <laughs> you know? right. and that, but you see, I think for me, like I said, I haven't, I haven't worked, I haven't done the program in its entirety. So I haven't realized all the benefits and that's why it's been a slow start for me. So now I'm really trying to, to uh, get myself into the, into the groove of it. Fantastic. We're just yeah. glad you're here. Yeah. Um, so anyway, most people are going to come to you because they have a good relationship with you and or they trust you for some reason, okay? Not that they shouldn't, but you know, there's a, for because my point is like Lori, for example, who came to me, we didn't have a strong relationship, mm -hmm. but she trusted me for some reason in what I was sharing, okay? So I... I'm going to guess, I'm going to speak for her, she and some other people trusted me because I have been consistently sharing this for now over two years. I, didn't, I don't just put a blurb up every once in a while. I'm consistently putting these products in my body over and over and over again. I'm consistently sharing it with other people. I'm consistently showing evidence and transformations that it works, okay? So people will come to you because they trust you for some I also am, now this probably wasn't Lori's perspective, but some other people that were general acquaintances know that I've always been a health-minded person, even though I was never promoting any product per se. But the minute I did, I had a handful of people say, well, if Lori's doing it, but they didn't know anything about it, okay? Now that could be the same with Barb, you know, Barb, Barb wouldn't do something that doesn't have evidence, you know? I mean, that's the kind of thing that they would see. So it doesn't always have to be because I. But let's keep in mind, I don't have a huge transformation. To do, okay, I have a couple pictures, but that's not what people were basing it on. Okay, I don't. It's not like I lost fifty pounds and I waited until I lost fifty pounds before I shared. You can share other people's stories as well. 
So I want people to get, I want every reason that you think you can't, you know, that I don't know enough about the product. I haven't had enough of a health change. The more, the earlier you start, the more they will follow you along your journey. So when you've lot, when you just wake up and have more energy on day five and feel like, you know, the best you have in years and woke up without the alarm and slept like a baby, that is going to appeal to a lot of people, whether you've lost any weight or not. Okay. Some people don't need to lose weight. Some people just want to feel good. Okay. Cause we have to remember this is a health journey. Weight loss is a side benefit. And so I always say almost everyone tells me they either want more energy or their experience was they needed energy and got more energy and or maybe weight loss or something else, but almost everyone energy. And I said, so why do we focus on weight loss all the time when almost everyone's talking about how they want energy? So don't overlook that. So um, how, what, do you, what do you do? What, what, how do you work the program if you're not weight in weight loss? Because my husband doesn't need to lose weight. So then what I, so that's the part that's confusing to me is I'm in the weight loss. What does he do? I, I mean, well, we can talk about that if I have time at the very end, but okay. it's pretty simple that you follow it the exact same way, but on shake days, you do not need to be regimented to that schedule and that amount of calories. Okay. That's really the difference. You should still do cleanse days. I mean, let me tell I will be the first to tell you, you can gain back your weight on after cleanse days. I do it all the time. I cleanse and I eat and I cleanse and I eat and I eat healthy and I don't, you know, I'm eating more than 1200 calories a day. You know, but you so. still take your two shakes a day, even uh -huh. if you're doing weight mm -hmm. loss. Yes, okay. because this is the difference. The shakes are the nutrition. The okay. food is the fun. Okay. You cannot do, and then you will learn more about this. And sometimes you just learn it through three-way calls, listening. Right. You know, while I talk, that's how I learned almost everything. You know, um, and and going to conferences and stuff. But you cannot duplicate the nutrition in a shake in a fork and knife meal. Okay. So the bottom line is nutritional deficiency is one of the biggest problems we have along with toxicity. And those are the two things that I think we really address. Because people can be under, can be not overweight, but be unhealthy, overfed, undernourished, you know? So that in a nutshell. Okay. So before we run out of time, when you basically the whole thing on your goal be between now and I would say tomorrow because Thursday is Thanksgiving is to get a good solid post up. All you're going to do is share what Isogenics has done for you. You can send your quote draft to me first and I will help you, you know, tweak it. If anything needs to be changed at the, where you guys are at now, if you just started like Amber, I have several people that post why they're starting. I, I've been feeling, you know, after watching Lori and the number of people she's coached to health, I decided it was time for me to get to the I'm tired of feeling this and this, okay? And so I can't wait to get as healthy as possible and rock in 2017, whatever it happens to be, you know? So those are the type of things that you can share. If you've already experienced some journey, you can, some, um, some, what am I trying to say? You've already had some experience results. That's what I was trying to okay. think about. Results um, on the program. Then you can say, God, I mean, you guys, I tell my story all the time. I don't know if you've not, not all the time, but more than once. It wasn't one post for me. I share other things, but just tonight I shared my story of how I doubted this for a year before I started, okay? How it's changed my life. How many people have come along with me, shared some of those transformations. So you can't bank on everyone seeing your one post. Plus you're gaining new friends all the time. You kind of have to recap in a different way your story, okay? It might be that your, your pants are loose and you're on your third, you know, clear down to the last notch of your belt. That's gonna be your new Christmas present thanks to this nutritional cleansing program. You guys, it can be that simple, you know? Um, I've had these, these pants in the back of my closet practically ready to give them to the Goodwill because I haven't been able to fit into them for three years. After, you know, after a month on this nutritional cleansing program, I slipped them right on. Thank you, God, whatever. They can be that simple. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You can go into a longer story. Before I started this system in this summer, I was feeling like you want to really get descriptive. I was feeling burnt out, exhausted, and completely out of shape. 
um, or overweight or knew I had toxic weight to lose. I watched, you always want to tag your sponsor early on because your sponsor, um, or if your sponsor's not doing the business and stuff, like I know Stacy Burke tagged me and Katie, you know, sometimes, um, they, we have everyone in the network to go help you when they see it show up on my page, they will go cheer you on. And then the more comments you get on your post, the more it goes up in the newsfeed, more of your friends will see it. Plus they'll read through and go, Oh my God, this is working for all these people. What is this? Right? So tell your story. It doesn't, don't, um, make it simple. If you want to take, um, if you want to make it a little longer, you can, but don't overthink this. Okay. Your biggest thing is, especially early on, I wouldn't say isogenics because most of your friends will probably just go Google it instead of telling you they'd like to know more. Possibly order it from Amazon instead of knowing that they get support and amazing encouragement and, and wholesale pricing if they enroll with you, okay? Um, so refer to it as superfood nutrition, nutrition, nutritional cleansing, any of those things. And then just always when you share, you write things authentically. Just share. Don't throw in the message to me to learn more. That's not just sharing. That's saying I want to sell you something. Who agrees? If they say message me to learn more, are you thinking, oh, okay, so I guess. But when I just share and I'm grateful and happy and whatever it happens to be, she automatically will start asking you. They may not all do it right, a while, right away. Some people follow you for a month. Some people follow you for six months. Some people follow you for a year. But I tell you what, if they've been following you for that long, they call you and they sign up then. <laughs> basically I know Lori had been watching for a long time a couple other people because I don't expect always everyone's gonna enroll on my first phone call or my first conversation with them but when they're ready to have a phone call and they've been watching for a long time a lot of times those are the ones that seem easy but really you've been doing the work for quite a while does that make sense yeah. I cannot stress enough how much consistency consistency and authenticity are important I understand that when you're first learning, you're trying to figure out what to put on Facebook. There's all kinds of things in HHP that might work for you. Feel free to use those, tweak them, try and put as much, some sort of spin on it that identifies it being you instead of a complete copy and paste post. Some things you can copy and paste if they're just like a program thing. I'm not saying I've never done it, but the more... The ones that are the most authentic get the most response. Um, who, those of you who have already started sharing, Monica, Tyler, even Lori, Lisa, would you agree? Yes, but it is nice to be able to copy and paste once in a while. <laughs> it, is, it is, no, it's definitely. It's not always even worth putting it up. Yeah. It's not, because they well, buy it. I, I couldn't paste a lot of the transformation stories, their quotes. Well, yeah, that. that's different. That is totally different. The transformation story is their story. You're using their words. Right. So for sure, that would be an exception, for sure, okay? I mean, I'm doing that too because we need their story. It's, it's their story, not mine, right? So I guess I'm just saying, if you follow, I'll give you some people later to follow, whether it's myself, other people, you can't copy and paste anything they post because it's them. It wouldn't work for you. Mm -hmm. And they are successful. So... I'm not saying you have to have that mastered tonight or this week or this month. I just want you to always be trying to improve it. That's what I've been trying to do. And I'm not saying I'm amazing at it either, but I constantly think, how can I, you know, whether it's a theme or something, how can I make this completely my life, my story? And I'll be honest, a lot of my stuff is copy and pasted out there and that's fine. I mean, I did it. I did, but I just think, um, if you even Google, you will find all kinds, if you put your theme and put Google images, you'll find all kinds of stuff that you want out there. Um, you can even Google topics and get some good wording if you can't think of it yourself. Okay, so, um, so for example, I will, I will say that Lori Kangas, who has shared a few times, hasn't shared a lot, but all of them she did were her. She hasn't copy and pasted one thing. See, and I'm not saying you can't ever do that. I'm just trying to give you more examples of the other way, okay? I mean, my sponsors and I, I mean, there's still, it's still going on for people. Sometimes things are just so good that you gotta, you know, you wanna use it too. 
So okay. you're talking this, this on your own Facebook page, right? Right, on your timeline. So your before we run out of time, just to make the difference, your timeline is solely there to generate interest. That's it. Not educate them on the entire system, okay? Too many people are like, these shakes are this, 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 no GMOs, no, for you know, they're listing 15 features. No one cares. No one cares about the features. They care about the benefits. What's it going to do for me? Okay. If they really want to dig into the science and all that, that's an HHP, right? Right. So once you right. generate the interest, you find out who wants to know more. Yeah. Let me get you some information. I'll put you in my private support page or I'll, I'll add you to my private support page and we can, and we can chat soon after you watch a couple, you know, like the just cleanse video, you guys is gold. It is awesome. Everyone loves that. Everyone relates to it. She's so real. Okay. And then they get to see all the transformations there too, instead of one, you know, once in a while. So before we run out of time at 8 30, um, get your first post up. My, my suggestion is to do it. Um, well, you can do it anytime during the day. I just wouldn't do it past nine o'clock PM. Okay. Because you're going to miss a ton of people that are getting ready for bed. So I would put it up first thing in the morning, maybe at noon or between four and seven, seven thirty PM. Um, put your post in public settings always, because I have had people enroll with me that I never even met Amber before. Here she is. Okay. My posts are public. Anyone can see them. Um, and then tag your sponsor because when you tag your sponsor, that way, you know, we can get all the gold diggers and tell you guys are not everyone's all connected to all those people to help them. And otherwise they can't find your post because they're not friends with you and all of those things. Um, and then comment and respond on all the posts. So when you have a few people say, Barb, that's awesome. Or I love it too. You want to like their comment and reply. Thank you. Or that's great. Because all of the, the more activity going on under the post, the better. Because then Facebook goes, it's an alert. This is a popular thing. I, we're going to keep making it go higher in the news feed. So if you've ever noticed, when you open your Facebook, if it's someone's anniversary or, I don't know, they got some big promotion at work or they had a baby, you know, or something, bam, you see it right away, right away in your news feed because it's got so many likes and so many comments. Everyone comments on that stuff. So that's kind of learning Facebook algorithm. So once you get your post up, um, here's what you do. You don't need to know anything. You still don't need to know anything except for this. Someone says, Barb, what are you doing? What is this? What are you doing? You reply and say, you know, it's blowing my mind or it's, it's been amazing. I'll send you a private message or I'll send you a message. Okay. Somehow be authentic and tell them you'll send them a message. So you're going to send them a personal message on Facebook. You're not going to go into dialogue and go into all their goals and tell them it's isogenics on your page. Does that make sense? Yes. No, maybe yes. not. Okay. So then, oh, now the very first time you post, or if it's a big power post, you may have, more responses than you predict and take advantage of it. It's not like that forever, right? So keep, have a pen and paper ready. And if you can't quite get the, to the messages right away, at least get all their names written down, okay? Now write down every single name forever of anyone who's ever expressed interest to you about what you're doing on Facebook or out of Facebook. Otherwise, you will completely forget about these people, speaking from experience. Um, and then you don't know who to follow up with. Even two months later, there's a special. Oh, my gosh. Who's everyone that's told me they're interested? They might want to know about the special. That might get them off the fence. Can't remember them. Okay? So keep your list. Then in the private message, you're just going to be authentic. Connect to me. If it's someone you haven't heard from, go, oh my gosh, Jenny, it's so fun to hear from you. I hope you and your family are doing awesome. Yes, I'm absolutely loving this. Um, I'm, you know, 10 pounds to my goal, and I plan to get to 10 more pounds by the new year. What's your goal? What are you looking for? I mean, be authentic instead of saying, I'll just put you in my private support page. I mean, connect, okay? I'm teaching you the harder way that's more effective. Does that make sense? Connect with people. They want to know you care. They really do, okay? So you connect with them. They tell you your goal. And no matter what they say, they want more energy, lose weight, gain weight, um, sleep better, 
better nutrition, be healthy, get rid of some flab, firm up. Is isogenics perfect? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my gosh, this will be perfect. That's so easy. Let's do this. I'll add you to, and use these words, my private support page. The word private is very enduring to them, okay? They like to know it's private, and the word support means a lot. And then we will connect after I show you a couple of videos. Okay? Okay. I mean, people like that they're not, you know, you don't, they don't have to call you that minute. So you add them. HP. Does everyone know how to add someone to a page? Yes. Yes? If you don't, let me know. Once you add them, you want to write a welcome. Welcome, Amber. I'm so excited to welcome Amber here. She's interested in learning more about our healthy holiday tribe or more about you know how I've lost this weight or, or what this program can do for her you tag her in it so that she sees the post then several of us will say welcome 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 and give her a warm welcome but you need to add education to that so if this is your first time let's just say you may have five or six people or more you're adding there keep your list message your sponsor I added, you know, Jenny, Tracy, whatever, you know, four people to HHP. And then you'll see, I'll go, okay, or whoever your sponsor is, I will go in and add the videos for you, for you and you can see what I do. It's just a link, and all you got to do is save that link, and that's what you add in the comments. I mean, once you see it done, it's very easy to do. Does that make sense? So we let them then marinate in there, maybe a day, maybe an, I mean, maybe it takes them a day, maybe it takes them an hour, maybe it takes them six months, but they're in the right place if you get them an HHP to learn the right way, okay? Um, so anyway, that's what you want to do, keep your list. The minute, now here's the most important part that people don't always do. When they start asking you questions, how much is it? What is it? So are it shakes? I mean, anything they start asking you, don't wing those answers, okay? You may kind of know the answers, but you're gonna learn the right way to answer people so that you get a phone call, okay? So when they start asking you those questions, you wanna start a new chat. You, your friend asking, your sponsor. In many of your cases, me, okay? Then you say, hey, Jenny, this is my friend Lori that has helped me get started um, on, this, on this system or on isogenics. She's gonna help me answer your question. Then I'll immediately say, hey, did you, I'm um, so glad you're here. Um, did you see the videos that she added? And then I'll set up a time for a call and then you don't have to do anything, you just listen. But that way when we're all three there, we can set up the time that works for everyone on the call, okay? And I will do the talking. You need to listen to two or three calls and you'll probably have it down. It's really not that hard, but you do have to practice on wording. When they ask me how much it is, I say there's several options depending on your goals or budget. When would be a good time to call? I do not say it's $300, $500, or $600. You know, that is ridiculous. They don't even know what they're getting. So as we wrap this up, Dawn's like, what is going on? What? Like, <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Dawn, we're doing a training call that happened before this. We're just not quite done. Oh, I was like, how do we wrap this up? <laughs> um, Sorry. You're get totally late. Anyway, your goal is to get your post up this week. Let me and or your sponsor know when you're putting it up. Or just put it in the group, our group that we're talking in, okay? And then we will know, I want to be there when you're posting it so I'm available to support and help you and you don't feel nervous about what to do next. I've forgotten some of the stuff I talked about, okay? And then I will tell you, we may have some things going on, Black Friday and stuff, so we need your post up before that, okay? Tell your story. The more transparent and authentic you are, the more people will trust you. The more you hide, the less they will trust you. Any questions before we move on to the team call and everyone's in there? <laughs> Laurie, I think everyone's a little confused at the moment. <laughs> The new people. You guys, we're just wrapping up an earlier training call that I planned right before this. So I'm just asking the new people if they have any questions. No questions. Well, no questions. Not Some yet. Some people are committed to putting their post up. 
Amber, I will help you with yours. Okay. Okay. Because I know you haven't started yet, but there's definitely wording we can use about before your box comes. Okay. Because okay. Amber already actually has one person enrolled, and she just signed up today. So how sweet would it be if she had two in a week? If you guys didn't watch that U plus two, them plus two video that I posted before this, go watch it. That's based on two enrollments in the same week, which runs Monday through <coughs> Sunday. That's where the bigger upfront bonuses really are. Okay? All right, we will meet back here at the same time next week on Tuesday and talk about um, what happened last week, and then we'll move into some more tips moving forward, okay? Um, okay, so we're moving in. I hope you guys can stay for our team call. So every Tuesday night at 8.30, um, I do, we do a whole Gold Diggers. Most of the, the people who are serious about building their business join us and we help one another and we share victories and we encourage each other answer questions get through obstacles and announce the big things going on so you're not lost in what's happening with hygienics and with our team and opportunities and challenges and all of that stuff so okay it is now 8 32 sorry to confuse some of you who just popped in um i scheduled my Coaching calls for new people at 7.45, and we were just walking up. All right. So, we have a background noise, so if anyone can mute their background, mute themselves, that way we won't be here. I totally understand screaming kids. It's just hard for us to keep going. Okay. Where, oh, Dawn, you're still there. It's like, did we lose her? All right, you guys, welcome. Um, this has been, gosh, for me, already a whirlwind of the week after the web, the Facebook Live. But thanks for those of you who joined us on Facebook Live. If you didn't join us and didn't know what was going on, every once in a while I do an online opportunity for people to learn. So anytime you see an event that's like virtual experience or something, um, I'm wondering if that's Amber and she's not close, but I hear all the kids in the background. I think um, it is Amber. <laughs> then you need to make sure that you hop on and invite your guests too. Okay, it's a perfect opportunity for that. So, um, anyone, first of all, let's start out with victories. Who has some victories to share? <laughs> I do. Go, Dawn. Uh, my Avocare person just messaged me. She listened to the call tonight, and she's joining. Yay! She listened to what? What call? The Facebook Live? Uh, no, Donovan's call tonight. Oh, the, the one by corporate? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That um, is a huge victory. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Um, oh, my gosh. Then, uh, How do I mute Amber? You all. I oh, know, I gotta find it. Audio options? No. Okay, I don't know how to mute all. I know you can. Manage participants. How do I manage you people? Mute <laughs> all. Here we go. Okay, so I'm muting. And then you simply unmute when you wanna talk, okay? Um, okay, okay, so go ahead, Don. So anyway, um, yes, she jo she is going to join, but I just got off a call with Erica Federoff as well, and we're going to wait and join on Friday because we're not going to do that. We're not supposed to be. She's breaking rules. Okay. Um, and based on all of our call, on everything that we were supposed to be doing last week, I made 233 connections. Congratulations. And, 233 messages. Yep. And, but that's just to people that I was already friends with. And then, um, per my message earlier, I was sick and was not able to sleep. So I made, took advantage of it and probably got, um, around 30 or 40 new Facebook friends by that. And I sent all of them a message as well. And so I've added, um, a couple people from the UK to the HHP page and, um, one from Australia. 
Where'd you find these people? Um, in different Facebook groups. Like what groups are you joining? Um, like entrepreneur groups. Mm -hmm. And how'd you find them? Uh, there was this weird post that said like, um, let's all become friends and um, comment below. And if you like the, or anybody who likes your posts or likes your comment below, then friend request them. And so I said, this is such a fun idea. Feel free to add me. Um, and tons of people were just starting adding me as friends. And oh so God, I would fantastic. I would click add friend message paste. And I had this oh. big thing. That I That's fantastic. Just to gain the friends, you know, is awesome. Authentically, you know, yeah. not just randomly. And then I am um, Are you listening, Tyler. Are you listening on how to expand your network and gain new friends? I am. Yes. Good, good. And I also got asked to be in this um, holiday bash thing where it is featuring like 15 to 20 different um, entrepreneurs, different businesses. And um, <laughs> none of mine have been guys, Dan. It's a women's thing. So I feel a little safer with it. <laughs> Um, but anyway, each day a different company is being featured. And so one day it might be LuLaRoe, one day it might be unique. Um, and so on that day is the only day that I like, I will be the only one posting on that day. So I will, I have a compilation of different posts that I'm going to put together and I'm just going to flood that page and then hope that a lot of people will then, um, be interested, friend request me and I can also throw them in HHP. So. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, she was telling me about that group and we were working on this pinned post. So we had to get a good transformation. Not that she didn't have good ones, but like a transformation that really told the story. Yeah, because it's not a pinned post like the HHP post. It's pinned as in like, it's just a picture. And so I had to have my picture and my story all in there at once. And then in Erica's call at eight o'clock, she had me... Um, explain the HH tribe group. So I explained that to her people. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think, yeah, I don't know if they've advertised it as much over there. So yeah, HHP tribe is growing. So um, I think I mentioned this. When was I talking about this? But you guys, I've had uh, the more and more and more you advertise it, you know, one post again, just like the consistency, you kind of have to keep the tribe posts going so that people start catching on because it's going to be lasting for a while. Well, those all sound like awesome opportunities, Dawn. Not only do you have someone from a whole nother company that's used those products for a long time joining you, but you're expanding your network. That's yeah. huge. That will benefit you a lot. I hope so. Mm -hmm. We were talking on the previous call about making your posts public because Amber, who joined us tonight, I've never met before and she signed up today and she's on the call. So... Welcome to Amber from everyone. Say hi to her. Uh, anyway, Amber, we, everyone's lines are now muted. I think you were gone when I did that. And you can hit unmute when you have something to say. Everyone's just so you don't have all the background noise. It's in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen or I don't know. Let me just, I don't know if it's different. Got it. Okay. I'm to go do some child control. Yeah, that's okay. It happens to all of us. So um, you weren't available earlier in the call. So can you tell us what interests you about Isagenic, like all completely? And the biggest thing is just getting more energy, feeling better about myself. Um, if you can do some kind of a, like a side income would be nice. Okay. Be a different venture. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And so you work for Joel. Are you like his assistant? Nope, I'm his employee. Employee doing what? I thought he was a real estate. draw houses. What do you do? Draw houses. Oh, okay. Nope. I thought, okay, he's really, so the funny, just to tell you a funny story, Joel has been talking to me for quite a while and never pulling the trigger, this guy Joel, let it go to the no through the gym and some other things, but he's just a funny guy and never commit and 
he even came to one of my launch parties. Amber messaged me a few weeks ago saying she's interested. She got on a Facebook Live, still hadn't pulled the trigger either. Anyway, I see Joel again today. We always just talk <clears throat> casually. I don't talk about isogenics to him unless he brings it up to me, okay? And he said today, so by the time I, on my birthday in January, I want to do this. How do I do that? I said, I think you know how to do it. So anyway, as he goes around and around, I hold Joel, just do it. Because like it's been forever, right? I go, just do it. You want to do it, obviously. So just do it. So I messaged him this afternoon. He said, okay, call me. And so I messaged him this afternoon and I said, okay, are you ready? He goes, yes. And I'm also going to sign up my coworker, Amber. I said, well, I know Amber. <laughs> so it was really weird that I said on the phone, I knew Amber was interested in the business. So he was happy to for us to enroll her and to put Joel underneath. So it's just that's interesting great. how your prospects all play out and what a small world sometimes it ends up. Ew, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You were probably like, who are you talking to? And he's like, Laura, you're like, oh my gosh, you're kidding. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so anyway, we're glad you're here. You're doing the right thing by being here. Spot on. Okay. This is where the support is. And HHP. Okay. So who else has a victory to share? Monica. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to thank Don for her idea for the referrals because both of the people I signed up last night were because I sent those referrals. Otherwise, they hadn't reached out to me. Well, the one had, but she would just, you know, kind of on the fence. I just sent her a referral. She's a good friend of mine. I just said, you, you know, hey, I'm asking for referrals. Yeah, right, right, exactly. And then um, the other one said, you know, I sent, and she goes, oh, yeah, I was just always going to reach out to you, and I just haven't. And then they both signed up last night. So I wouldn't have got either one of those. It wasn't for Don's idea. Anyways, Andy Ann, which came from Megan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, it worked out. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah. You guys, do you understand the power of being here? And do you understand what people are missing by all the ideas? I mean, I, I didn't keep, you know, I don't have one on. The one on one is nowhere close to what people can do together. Okay? So, awesome. Speaking of the calls, raise your hand how many people made the contacts that they committed to, or at least made a dent in them. Stacey, Plus, Monica. I, found very, I found it very easy. <laughs> yeah, it was. That was. That Jen, yeah. and obviously Dawn did. Anyone else that I missed? It's not too late, you guys. You can still keep doing it. And your message can be anything. I haven't really done anything like that before. I'm more just reached out to people authentically and started conversations. Because sometimes, Monica, if you just authentically reached out to them and started a conversation about something else, they probably would have started, you probably would have gotten there, you know, because True. they're wanting to reach out. Right. You. So, so don't be don't feel like it always has to be about isogenics when you message right people, okay because mm -hmm. like yeah. those those connections are and if it doesn't it doesn't it's again appreciate everything expect nothing which of course if you're gonna send 200 messages out you have low expectations right yeah so but happy with two holy crap that's awesome <laughs> yeah. congratulations i sent her a message today going my gosh girl you go and she said it's really just consistency and anyone who, when they start experiencing success, will say that over and over again. Consistency on making extra efforts, too, and trying new things. Mm -hmm. Okay, what other victories do we have to share? Gina? I was going to just call on you if you didn't speak. <laughs> I promoted a consultant. Yay! And then um, also my other PE, just added her first person, HHP today and she's interested in um learning more about you know getting people enrolled under her and getting her products paid for so she's gonna join us on dawn's team's calls too yeah. yeah so and then you still have the it works girl that might do something too right yes i'm just yeah. being very patient with right. her but you'll get there yeah uh -huh. she said awesome. she just kind of wants things to happen naturally or you know just it will. I totally get where she was at, where she's at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? You're going to be manager soon then, Gina. Mm-hmm. Yay. Hopefully. Stacey okay. Sexton. Okay. Um, well, actually, just before this call, I helped one of the girls in my downline enroll someone um, who had used Metafast, actually, before. So I guess I've got someone that we helped convert over. Mm -hmm. But the thing I'm most excited about right now is that I have stayed on the million dollar challenge, top 100 in the company all week so far. That's <laughs> huge, in the company, holy crap. 
That is huge. I, I, I bounced around between like member 91 to 98. So I got close a couple of times to falling off the list. But I think when I, um, earlier this week, when I saw that my name was actually above um, the Vavras, I was like, are you kidding wow. me? Yeah. <laughs> um, awesome. And so I've got 100 points already earned for the month so far. And I am so shooting for that luncheon at NYKO. I'm, I would just be so excited if I was, if I was high enough in the points for our region to be able to represent us there. It would be just so, it would be so amazing. And Stacy started the business side, what, three, four months ago? Really, uh, probably in August is when I hit it the most. Cause I had like two enrollings. I was a consultant, I think by maybe the end of July, maybe it was August. I don't even remember because oh, I wasn't months. intending to do it. So I didn't really pay any attention. It was just a couple of people that I enrolled just because they were asking questions. And well, then... and the million dollar challenge didn't start till August. So that's what they're, you know, counting towards. But my point is, it's not like she's some professional, you guys. She's just sharing her results, which are astronomical, I must say. She's had an amazing transformation, but just sharing Stacey's transformation and people you know. The really cool thing is when you find, and if you're looking for transformations from our team, friend them and tag them. Then people are like, oh my gosh, she knows this person, right? That makes a huge difference too. Okay, congratulations, Stacey. You're blowing it out of the water. Don't slow down now. You're doing great. Um, brand new people, you can still sign up for the Million Dollar Challenge. Uh, you would just pick up now in the middle, but there's prizes along the way. So in your back office, if you want to know how to do that, I can simply show you. It's just a little button you push in your back office. Um, anyone else have a victory to share? This is Dawn, and I had originally, I think, committed to 50 or 60 for our, our uh, reaching out to people. Mm -hmm. And I ended up doing 163 or 160 until Facebook put me in jail. And then um, I, uh, one of the people that I just randomly sent out signed up that night after they watched your um, presentation. And had never been in HHP before or told you they were interested. Correct. Yeah. And there's other people that are just sitting on it, you know, so congratulations. And it was a president's pack, right? It was. Boom. Who wouldn't like that? Awesome. Anyone else? Bree and Jamie are in the middle of a launch, launch party. party. Yeah, good for them. I know she was going to try and hop on afterwards, but I was like, that's all right. You get your, don't rush through it. I was like, I hope they don't get on. Yeah, that means they've got people talk. That means there's people there. <laughs> okay, um, before I forget, let's see. Um, especially for new people, if you really want to start moving forward and, and experience the culture and what this company truly has to offer, I highly recommend you still try and get to NYKO. NYKO is New Year's kickoff. Actually, everyone should go, but I know that new people don't all know about it is why I'm mentioning it. Um, new Year's kickoff. This is a tax deductible way for you to go on a company vacation to San Antonio. It's January 12th through 14th. I need to count up how we should get a roll call in the gold diggers of how who all is going. Um, yeah, I mean, people on the uh, Tyler's going, Don's going, um, Jen Hamilton's going, who else? Stacy is going, Don Rice is going. Um, so, not, I guess hmm. Don, Stacy, or Deanne, obviously 90% of the people here. So, Jane, oh, I don't know. Jamie and Gina are thinking about, I don't know if they're confirmed or not. Jill well, TBD. What? Tina Marie is going to be coming, and then also one of my personal enrollees, um, Susan Sanchez, is coming as well. Oh, good. I'm glad she's coming, Lori. Well, I mean, we've got a ton of people. I bet we have 30, at least 30 or more people on our team alone going. And some of these people are going for the first time, and other, um, and hearing all the all the hoopla about it. And Tyler was like, I can't wait to hear, see what everyone's talking about. But even when he came to Super Saturday, he goes, this already tells me it's going to be great. And I was like, oh my God, this is like pathetic compared to what you're going to see at NYKO. I mean, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but it's a whole new ball game. Um, and NYKO is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite conferences. It's only two days long. I mean, if you wanted to take your spouse, you certainly could. And it might, you know, it's a good opportunity for them to see what it's all about too, because it's not such a long event. It's two days, you know, Saturday and or Friday and Saturday. 
So um, if you have, if I want everyone to know, probably a good thing we should go through another time is always be checking isogenicsevents.com, okay? That way you always see the events coming up and you kind of have to be, I mean, we all go to, I mean, the biggest, the people who are serious go to NYKO every year. We go to celebration, usually hit at least one of the ICUs um, and, and one more, but there are continuous other events throughout the year. So you need to be your own advocate in finding an event that will work for you. Then say, Hey, I want to go to, I know people have done this. I'm going to go to Chicago. Who else wants to go? You know, and you could probably, we could probably get a good amount of team members there. Um, but don't wait for someone to push you out the door. Okay, you got to go to those events. You got to. And the sooner you go, the sooner things will come together for you in your business with ease instead of feeling like you're struggling. Because you, how many people feel like an event really helped them get outside their own head? Okay, can anyone speak on that? I had gone to the Super Saturdays at different locations uh, in Omaha and in Minneapolis. And then I also did. Um, the event in Chicago and each time it just kind of gave me more ideas of, of different things that to try confidence and so it just it helps build you up and you also get to see the culture of the company and really understand um, for me it was kind of solidifying that they're a company that that truly believes in their people and faith and um, it, it just kind of helped me put everything together and that I wanted to be involved with it. Awesome. Anyone else? It just builds the belief. It's um, you see the people that are up on stage and these are super successful people in isogenics, but it helps you see that they started right where we started. I mean, some of them have experience in network marketing. Some people don't, I mean, and both ways are very successful. So Laura Stevens had no experience. None. She went to work though hard and did her own research and figured out how to do social media and all of those things and jumped in with both feet, willing to learn and learn and learn and learn and learn, you know, and, and, and there's no wrong or right pace to go at, but the slower you go, meaning you hit a call here, an event there, you're engaged here and there is hard. It's really hard because you'll always feel like you're a step behind. And I'm not, you know, I don't ever judge people, but I'm like, the reason people are overwhelmed is because they don't stay engaged. If you stay engaged and you're in calls all the time, you're not overwhelmed because you understand what's happening and going on. Does anyone else agree? But if you've taken, you know, three weeks off, you're like, what are people talking about? What's going on? And then they do nothing because they're totally overwhelmed. And by the way, if life happens and you need, I mean, you can always jump back in. We're all here to help you reach out and ask. Don't just think, oh, I shouldn't ask. I feel stupid. I'm just going to do nothing. Don't do that. Okay. We all, we're all here to help you wherever you're at. Okay, so events are huge. Hope to hear more of you are coming. If you need a roommate, we'll help you find a roommate. Dawn, do you still have room in your hotel? Yeah, she does. So she still has room. So if you decide you want to go tonight, you have somewhere to stay. Um, okay, I just want to talk about the team challenge that I'm doing. If any of you didn't see it, it is in the Gold Diggers group, Gold Diggers business page. Um, Gold Diggers for the new people is my team and really announcements that I make and training for, for our team that I want to make sure you see. ISA for Wealth is a wonderful wealth of information for our whole big team, but you know, I need this in order if I want to do a team challenge to promote when team calls, all of those things. Um, our Gold Diggers t-shirts, which are awesome. Thank you, Deanne. Um, which I was wearing today at the gym and the girl behind me said, I like the girl behind me said, I like your shirt, Lori. So on the back of the shirt, it says, live life on your own terms. So, of course, who doesn't like that, right? So anyway, um, in the Gold Diggers page, I posted the team challenge, and I really wanted, since the 90-day game plan is over, I wanted something to really encourage us all to end the year strong and to stick to our goals and really power through. I know when the holidays come, it's really easy for people to let that consume them or let that be a some focus in their head saying, oh, I'm not going to start, I'm not going to do it now because, you know, everyone will wait till the first of the year and no one's going to want to do it during the holidays. I mean, I enrolled people all of November for the past two years and all of December. I enrolled people the week of Christmas. It's all about some sort of timing and click for them and it doesn't have to do with January 1st. The second reason is the more consistent you are now and the more building you do now, 
those people who do wait, who do you want them to think of when they are looking for a health solution? Raise of hands, anyone want them to think of them? Okay, so if you want them to think of you and the first person they think of when they think of weight loss, cleansing, getting healthy, uh, more energy, you want to be in front of their face so that you're the person that they think of, okay? Um, all right, so the team challenge is all about promoting. And like when you get to consultant, you get a number of points, manager. And so for those of you that are already further than that, you get points for helping your people promote. The biggest thing when you get further in this business, if you're a director or further, um, or even manager, is you gotta help your people and reach out to them. There's so many people that sit quietly until you say, I mean, when I sent this message out to people who had loosely expressed interest, I mean, I think we had eight or nine say, yes, I want in. None of them came to me and said, Lori, will you help me? I went to them, okay? And so Dawn is doing team calls. I think Tina Marie was going to do team calls too. I offered them to Lori Webb. I gave a template to a lot of our leaders so they could do calls to help people become consultant or beyond, okay? So my goal is that later as Dawn does these, Jen will understand how to do them and she can do them for her team. They're very simple to do, okay? But anyone who falls under Dawn, she will help you. Um, and, you, I, you know, and I believe a lot of those big leaders. And of course, I'm always welcome. We started ours today. Um, so anyway, there has to be at least 10 team promotions for the drawing to happen. And I'm doing $400. I'm giving away $400 in cash. There will be a drawing for two, a $50 winner, a drawing for a $100 winner, and a drawing for a $250 winner. And if I draw, you, the more, obviously, the more entries you have in, the more chances you have to win. And if I draw your name twice, I'm giving you the money twice. I'm not saying, oh, Dawn already won, so I'm going to draw someone else. Dawn had more chances in there, so she maybe will get drawn for more money, okay? So you need to be keeping track yourself of your points. So I saw people comment on their top tip for getting on the corporate calls, so make sure you're writing that down so that at the end when you report, you've kept track of all of your entries. I can easily go double check them, but I know on the honor system, everyone is good. But if it looks crazy, I will be double checking. <laughs> okay. Any questions about the team challenge? It goes until December 30th because I'm awarding the drawing. I'm doing the drawing on the 31st. However, if the promotion happens and like a consultant promotes the morning of the 31st, that counts. Okay. So anything that comes up that morning will count. Or if it's just like a one-star promotion, for some reason, Isopulse is behind. If we know it's for sure happening, it counts, okay? How many people are excited about that and working hard on some personal and team promotions? Stacy, Dawn, Gina. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. So now, really be pushing it. And over the holiday weekend, I do think it's a good idea that you keep in touch with your business. Yes, there might be something announced on Friday. We don't know. But they have done specials before. Um, there could be one on Friday. There may not be. But the minute you find out about it, um, I think it's, you know, fine. The reason I wouldn't, I guess, I personally I had two people enroll today. Amber's on the phone. I don't know for sure there's a special. There could be a special. But I enroll people when they're ready to enroll because it's always a good time to get started. I didn't need a special to get started. But Amber, if there is one, you're gonna have, now that you're enrolled, a great opportunity for anyone else who might be interested that you can offer them. So to me, that is what makes the most sense. Um, so Dawn, I would enroll your girl, unless you already told her that you think something's coming up, because that would give her a great reason. So Amber, you know, a lot of these people are going to get their posts up tomorrow, and so they're getting people's attention, and then they can follow up on Friday if there's something special and seal the deal, okay? Um, or just, you know, you never know what may happen. So keep, keep watching. You never know what can, what can keep happening. The other thing is, such a good time, you guys. December 6th, we have another shake coming out. The more people you have on board now, like now, today, 
the more people will go in and order the new shake, right? So the more people you have on your team by December 6th, you guys, these promotional shakes, your cycles just explode, you know, as long as you take the time to make sure everyone knows about the new shake, especially because they're gone fast. So this shake is a returning shake. That's all I know. It's a seasonal shake that's been here before. So be watching. I tell you guys ahead of time only so that you don't miss it and you don't, and you're prepared to let your people know. I know that I appreciate, like, I don't want to just wake up Tuesday and go, oh my God, I need to get something together to tell all of my team members, you know, and you can even tell them to be watching for it, like on Monday. Um, I wouldn't tell them too much further than that, because here's what can happen. Everyone can like stall and bump out all their auto ship orders or something and wait until December 6th to place their orders and that backfires on you a little bit. Okay, so definitely you want to reach out and let people know and don't assume they're seeing it in HHP. I just do short messages sometimes like, oh my gosh, did you see what's back? Or did you see the shake that's out? I mean, that's all I do. If they're interested, they come back going, no, what was it? Or yes, I got some, you know, that's it. Super, super fast because I got a lot of people to reach, you know, and I dip down further for people who are probably not telling their team members as well. If I can, I hit as many as possible. Of course, I'm not friends with all of them on Facebook. And I put it in the Gold Diggers group. So that's another good reason to make sure your people, by the way, when you enroll people, I would let them know you're also adding them to this if they want to start taking part at any point. Because sometimes they start watching what's happening and they may decide they want to jump in, like when a team challenge is there or whatever. But if they don't know it's there, and they may not. Um... That is the main things I was going to mention. Does anyone have anything they want to bring up or questions? Stacey. I just got a um, message from Sean Scott earlier this evening, giving me a heads up that there's going to be something planned for Cyber Monday. And that Who's Sean Scott? Sean Scott is the South um, Region uh, Sales Manager. Oh, so he, he emailed you? Um, he messaged me. Interesting. I, we, well, he, okay. So this all started because on Saturday, Tina Marie and I were having a garage sale. During the garage sale, he actually called me to congratulate me on manager, asked me if I was going to NYKO, talked about oh, a couple of other good. things. And so then um, uh, he, asked, well, we talked, I Facebook friend requested him. Um, and then I was, Anyway, bottom line is he and I just have been kind of messaging back and forth and stuff a little bit. And um, he sent me a message that said that there's going to be something planned for Monday. Um, it says we have something planned for Cyber Monday that I can share later this week, but also a potential call on Tuesday too. There is a call Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay. I oh, was gotcha. told from Lisa that they announced on the six star call that there will be something Friday and Monday. I was also told not to say anything about it. Well, he did not tell me not to say anything. Well, that's about what I'm it. saying. If a corporate person is telling you, then, but the corporate people on their call said, I mean, this is what's happening. They don't want all the cats out of the bag because people hold their, you know, less happy. This is what happens. This is the rationale that I was just explaining. People hold enrollments. Whereas people could have been getting started a couple days earlier and actually sharing it with other people and it'd actually lead to even more. So that's really the rationale behind watch for what's going on, but embrace every single day as this is the moment. Okay. So you didn't do anything wrong, Stacey. That's just, I'm going to go ahead and tell people if he's telling you. Um, but Lisa said to me, can you keep a secret? So technically I did. Okay. <laughs> so so what that tells us is you want to be not, if you're serious about the business, um, I'm going to be out of town, of course, on Friday but, and Saturday, but I will, uh, I will be paying attention and if I have to move into another room to do a phone call, I certainly will. And I'm taking my enrollment forms with me. So whenever you go out of town, that's a lesson. How many people take enrollment forms everywhere they go? Yep, 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 you know. So um, big opportunities then this week. So, I mean, get as many as you can on Friday, and the ones that miss it, hopefully you can catch those on Monday. I even took my enrollment forms to Tahiti. I took them to Disney, too. Good <laughs> for you. I didn't use them, but I took <laughs> them. But you could have. 
But you wouldn't, if you wouldn't have taken them, you would have needed them. <laughs> okay, awesome. Anyone else questions or comments? This is a place that's very safe if you feel like you're having a struggle or you're not sure how to do something or you feel something's, you know, holding you back that we could help with. Sherry. Okay, so hi guys, how are you doing? Good, are those rollers in your hair? Yes, I'm look, sorry for looking so crazy. These no, are I think how... it's so cute. I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd hear an accessory. <laughs> no, I washed my hair, so I have natural hair, so I have to find a way to make it curly. When you see that I have curly hair, this is the process. It gets washed, and then it lets it air dry. So I'm on oh. vacation this week. And this is how it gets done. And that's why you see my hair in ponytails so many times, because this is not a uh, uh, quick it. fix. Right. Hats this is are not nice a run out of the go. That's so this is, Yeah. So this is my first time um, on a team call like this, the Gold Diggers call, in like a long time. I usually work, guys, I work two jobs. So usually I work Tuesday night. So I figured if I was on vacation, I've used this time to get on. But my question is, is about the team challenge. I'm, I'm a little new at this, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I need some information about it. I saw something in the Gold Diggers page about um, it says, coaching. With, is that the coaching concept there's, there's of it coaching, or no? There's coaching calls that corporate are doing. And I was advertising those also, obviously you want to do them anyway, but this would be even more of a reason to get on because I am doing the team challenge. But if you keep going further down, there's an image that says finish the year strong, something else. And I explain the, all the details of the team challenge. Okay. okay if, you can't find, if you can't find it, let me know and I'll tag you. Okay. No problem. It's only a few down. I just posted it not that long ago. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. You bet. Thanks for coming tonight. Oh, no problem. Anyone else? Okay, if, feel free to chime in if you have questions you want to say, but I couldn't, um, I couldn't not mention, because I know not everyone was able to get on Laura Stevens' call. And for those of you that are new, Laura Stevens hit millionaire in a couple years in our company, and she makes, a millionaire means that they've accumulated a million dollars or more uh, in Isogenics since they started. But she is a nine star golden circle and actually makes $835,000 a year. And she's been here for three years now, not even two and a half, actually. I mean, and her husband's like a seven star. Yeah, <laughs> seven star. Yeah. So she's built and they're open a whole new business center. So I'm not sounding, I mean, for those of you who are new, I'm completely impressed. I've always been in awe of her. I don't even know how she sleeps. If that, you know, but anyway, she is the one of the most genuine, sweet, authentic people you'll ever know. Um, she definitely was in a situation that she needed to get them out of debt and needed the opportunity, but she's also extremely humble about it too and pours her heart out. She has promoted like, not that they're all there now, like 20 executives, you know, or something herself in her first line. So um, these are some tips that she shared that you should ask people, like I think some people, or that you should ask yourself, what income would change your life? Like put a dollar amount on it. And I know some of you maybe aren't doing this totally for income. And so if it's not income, you need a stronger why. You gotta have something so strong that it makes you get up every morning and you don't wanna quit, okay? So put a dollar amount, it, what income would change your life? I mean, if you're like feeling like you live paycheck to paycheck and an extra thousand dollars a month would alleviate that stress, write that down. If it's bigger than that and you're in $40,000 in debt, I'm not talking about house debt, like credit card debt, any kind of very serious debt, write that number down. Um, put it down in paper, what number? And then when you talk to your sponsor, we can match a goal with the number, okay? Um, and set your goals with a date. Um, she said, I love goals ending on Sunday because it makes people do that final push because the, the Isogenics week ends on Sunday, you know, whether you're going for a star promotion or, 
or director or manager or even double PIBs. When it ends on a Sunday, people work hard because it's amazing what you'll see people do just to, for that final push. But write dates down with your goal, okay? If you're not sure what's realistic, again, talk to your sponsor, but amazing. I mean, you can dream big. Look at Laura. Oh my gosh, she was three star in seven months, I think. Seven or eight months, she was three star. Three star means you're cycling 40 times a week. 40 times $54 is what? Someone do the math. Almost $3,000, maybe $2,000. No one can do it? Come on. I don't have a count. 40 times 50? $54 times 40. It's $2,160. Okay, so she was making $2,100 a week. A week. So um, probably with her enrollments, closer to $10,000 a month within eight months. Now, is that typical? No. Is it possible? Yep. So put your goals down and dream big, and we'll find the resources for you to do it. Events, of course, she said was she was at her first event the first month she started. I was too. Um, identify your strengths. So instead of too many people like, I'm not good at this. I'm not a people person. I'm an, you know, I'm this, I'm that, whatever. Identify your strengths. My strength is not the numbers. <laughs> we just totally, totally showed that. Um, my strength is not reports. Um, my strength, I would say, is just people you know, working with people and confidence to speak, you know, and things like that. Uh, and, and easily helping people. So focus on your strengths and what you're good at. And then, you know, you work with a team of other people and you complement each other and you can still get, get always strive to improve the areas that you need. I always, you know, you want to do that. Um, but don't always focus on your weaknesses because that will stop you. Instead, focus on your strengths, okay? And lock arms with people who compliment you. Um, be bold and be brave. And I would have to say that is probably the best tip you could possibly have. Like I said earlier, too many people don't reach their goals in this company, not because they don't have the ability or um, the skills or the time or anything. It's truly really because they are stuck in their own head and they're not brave enough to do it. And they look, but the, you will look at other people and, and want to be, so just do it. Nothing. I mean, we will, we, when you know you have the support of all these people and if you need help on your post on Facebook, we're going to go love all over them. What is there, what is there to be afraid of? You know, this is all about being authentic and being you. So be bold and be brave and make bold statements. And I love that Emily Bobber told me, if you are not speaking it, you are not believing it. So if you can't say it, and you probably don't believe it either, okay? Um, she wrote, I wrote down same ranks with similar goal. Oh, she said, connect with people that have similar goals. So like, Dawn, you are, you know, in the executive area. Um, lock, connect also maybe on a side thing with other people that have the same goals as you and want the same thing, whether it's re-promoting to executive or someone who's close to executive, you know, We're doing gather it. with those people. We have a group going. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Don's already on it. So if other of you, if you're like just trying to get to consultant and the newbies, like I made that group for our 45 minute 7 PM call. Those are the people that are on my call together. That's another purpose for it is you guys are all kind of in the same boat, okay? And so you're going to connect and, and support each other to reach each goal and, and hold each other accountable, okay? Um, come off like a professional. I think this is huge. She said, use, um, get some professional pictures taking. Um, I'm trying to read my handwriting. Exude, it's something you're taking seriously. Okay, so... It doesn't have to be professional, like you're spending all this money and not all my, you know, picture. I had a photo op at, at um, Celebration, so I did that. But I do take the time to, you know, have a good, definitely a good profile picture. And I take snapshots, but I'll take several pictures or have my husband take them for me or my daughter and edit them. And if I don't think it's, you know, a fantastic picture to be posting, I don't. And you can use Instagram to do filters and make them look polished, okay? So just take it as something you're doing seriously. So 
Um, your profile picture should be a picture of you, not your dog, not even your whole family. However, I did recently change it just for the little thing going on, thankful for us. But most of the time, it's always just a picture of me, my face. Um, because most of the people, you know, those people that have a picture of their cat as their profile picture or something, they're not proud of who they are. Typically, I go to those people's pages, their pages, and I cannot find a picture of them. I don't even know what they look like. That people are not going to identify and trust you seeing a picture of some background scenery or your cat and not seeing your face. So it makes a huge difference. They want to see who they're working with. Okay. Um, and vision boards. Uh, I recently did a vision board. I know a lot of other people did here too. And she said, when you really lay it all out and do vision boards of what you really want in your life, it's really cool to see how many of those things actually come true. And before they've come true, you have it up and you see it. And it reminds me of why you do, reminds yourself of why you do this every day. And she also suggested getting your family involved. So I always say if ever, anyone's ever struggling with a spouse or family members not appreciating what they do or feeling any sort of resentment, you need to get them in, you know, clued in that what's possible and what would you like to achieve as a family. Maybe you want, maybe, you know, it's new furniture. Maybe it's um, a vacation. Maybe, you know, it's, maybe it's even something smaller. Maybe it's just a night out on your on what you earned, you're going to go out to dinner together and you pay, you know, and you make that possible. So get your family involved so that they see it benefits them too. And you're not, I think that one of the biggest things when people don't have support is that they do not have open communication and they disappear. I used to do that. <laughs> um, it would just be like, I didn't announce that, you know, I have things going on. So my husband's really supportive, but he's told me before, if you tell me, you have calls, that's great, and I know I'm in charge of the kids. When it seems like you're, when you're working up here and doing a phone call in the middle of the living room, it seems like a nuisance. If you leave and tell me you're going to your office, I understand you're working. Does that make sense? And can you see how on the other side that would be appreciated? So even sponsors, that sometimes has to be conveyed to families um, because if they really get into it, it can seem like, you're playing on your phone all the time when you're seriously, your phone is your, is your office. So your mobile office. So those are a lot of the hugest tips that she, um, that she gave. She also said when people asked how to build consultants, that she was bold and authentic and she always squeezed, and I've been doing this ever since she said this, she always squeezed in I was able to, you know, when she's talking about when they get their box or, or maybe it's on that first call, I was able to watch my friend become an ISA millionaire and it's really helped me um, see the opportunity to get rid of our debt. And it's definitely, there's definitely an opportunity there. She goes, and then I would move right back into whatever they were talking about. Just like a little, she said sometimes Kelly, her sponsor called it flirts, you know, where you're just sprinkling them in there so that the people know that there's something available there. She also draws out you plus two, them plus two to absolutely everyone that joins. Usually when they get their box, if they're on the phone, she'll say, hey, grab a piece of paper real quick. She goes, I don't ask them, can I show you this? I just say, hey, grab a piece of paper real quick. And she has, draws them you plus two, them plus two. And so she goes, I just kind of assume they're going to want to do it. Then they may not all do it, but I assume everyone would want to know. So... If you feel like you're doing all of these things, then you're on the right track. If there's any of these things you feel you could bone up on, that might tell us why Laura's where she is. Does that help? Those were my biggest takeaways from her. And I definitely, um, I definitely have worked hard in showing more people early on how they can get their products paid for and that I will help them. It's not, you do have to enroll a lot of people, but you also, you can't only do that and not show them how to get paid or you will only be making money from what you do and not duplicating and it will be slow. Okay. I think that's it. Does anyone have anything else they want to bring up or questions? There's no dumb questions. So new people, if you have something you want to clarify, this is a great time to do it.
Stacy, I wanted to say thanks for making that collage. Where'd you go? They're over there. Um, I, I know not everyone was in it that's also doing the business, but it was a fun, I, I used it tonight and tagged a bunch of you that were in the picture um, and just really helped me get, yeah, Sherry was in it too. It just helped me um, really show people that these transformations are our people, right? Uh, because we show transformations all the time. And I just love the fact that I was, it really brings you back when you think of just starting and being a consultant and think, look how many people's lives have changed because really because I said yes. And even though they aren't all enrolled directly with me, it all came from that somewhere. That's just like an amazing feeling. And, and, and that's really the most, I guess, rewarding part is how many, when you see how many people's lives change and all the people in that picture are taking it to help others as well. So yeah, I had a hard time trying to decide who I wanted to feature for because I'm this week one of my goals has been to be more intentional with my posts. I actually even went on Hootsuite and I got things scheduled for the rest of this week. So I'm really trying to focus on getting the posts on Facebook. Um, but I had a hard time trying to figure out who I wanted to feature because every single person on our team has had an amazing story. And so I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't, I, I mean, if you guys only knew the number of times I started writing a message to each one of you, like, can I borrow yours? Oh, can I borrow your story? Oh, I want to use yours. And then I was like, you know what? There's just too many. And I think if we show all of us on the team together and all of the successes we've had, I was hoping that maybe that would draw in the curiosity from others that we know and saying, Hey, you know, these are real people. I know these people, these are people that I can contact, that I can call, that I can message. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you have the people with amazing stories, but you don't know who they are, you know, sometimes you get some questions and, yeah. you know. It, yeah, it's great. The more you can share ones and tag them, it benefits you both. Plus, when you tag them, they see you know them, you know, and everything. So I would take the time to do them one-on-one, -on -one too, just because they could see it more and get that personal story from each one, you know. Yeah, that's my next step, I think, is yeah. I'm going to do the one-on-ones next. But I wanted to show kind of, especially just before the holiday, um, mm -hmm. that there's a big group of us and that we're all here to support one another as well. And then if you join, you'll also be able to be a part of this larger group oh, as well. Absolutely. The tribe, basically, you know. And so it is important that you focus on the fact that your team, that you um, support, that you train, that you coach, and that they get wholesale pricing so that they don't wander off and go somewhere else, right? You want to bring all of that in. Um, Cause I've had people come to me they, knowing other people saying, I can tell you take care of your team. So just, you can portray that on Facebook. I do have to add one of the other things that kind of made me go down that route is very much what you just said. I actually have um, a coworker who had told me she was going to enroll under me and we were going to get her signed up on, I believe even a president's pack. Um, and she was having a surgery and she wanted to wait a little bit until she had recovered. And um, I went into her office. She's our CFO, actually. I went into her office just to kind of um, drop some paperwork off. And um, she's like, well, I just wanted to let you know that I signed up yesterday. And I just, like, my heart just sank because I'm like, well, it wasn't with me. So who yeah. the heck did you sign up with? You know, and we've been talking for a long time. And we were really close friends, actually. And she ended up signing up with the one person that works at our hospital who isn't on my team. Mm -hmm. And um, that was like the wake up call for me. I was like, you know what? I can't expect these people to continue to come to me like they have been. If I want them, I'm going to have to search them out. And it's not that I don't want this other person to not be successful because if she's successful, then Isogenics is, is successful and then we're all successful. Right. But I don't know what kind of coaching she's providing. Mm -hmm. And so I, I don't want this person that I know to fail because the coaching of another team isn't working because then that's going to get the negativity out about the product. And I've already got so many people that have started the product and been watching me and they know her as well. So I want her to be successful, but at the same time, I want her to say, gosh, you know what? I really wish I would have signed up on her Stacy's team because her team really seems to be supporting one another. And I don't see that happening with this other person. I don't know. I don't know if it's happening or not, but a lot of it has to do with more than just the products. It has oh, to do with yeah. That's why the products are not on a shelf, you guys, is because they are a system. It is not just about the products. It's about the coaching and the support that's provided and the whole opportunity, you know? So, 
So yes, get, I mean, and you're not going to get them all, you know, it's just the way it is, but you're right. I definitely want, uh, there's a girl that's been doing it longer than me in town and everyone knows we have so many mutual friends, like 40, 50, and we didn't even know each other, you know? And so we do now and she's a sweetheart and people like her. There's, I mean, everyone loves her. People kind of maybe know she does it, but I've kind of felt awkward sometimes because they've mentioned, I also know, you know, X, Y, Z, and she's really sweet too. So I can tell they feel kind of like, but they ultimately have to make a decision, right? And I do it more, more aggressively and more seriously. And so anytime you feel like, you know, you have, I mean, you got to follow the right algorithm. It's not, you know, you're not sharing, you got to share your life too. But if you stay consistent, you can get all of it in consistently so that they're seeing all of it, right? And and do it in the right way. Whereas if you're not consistent, they'll go to the person where they see it all the time, you know? So it is huge. And right now you may feel like, oh, I don't know one else. My friend, I don't know anyone else who does it that my friends do. Well, it's not going to be like that forever. Isogenics is growing and pretty soon everyone will be doing isogenics. The question is, will they be doing it with you? I remind my, you know, you got to remind yourself of that all the time. And stay, again, stay authentic, stay you. It doesn't have to talk about you, but you just exude that you are positivity, you are team, you are support, you are health, right? And then also, you can throw in your products, right? Um, who's raising their hand? Stacy, it says lower hand. I don't understand this thing. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Um, my question is, you know how we have all of these calls where they have the free enrollment? Um, and it seems like we're having more and more of them lately. Um, is everyone just constantly sending out messages to your HHP people and your prospects on every single one of these calls or how are people approaching this? Good question. It's over. It's annoying. I don't like the whole thing. Honestly, I don't mean I don't like it. I think it's a great opportunity. It's just kind of crazy. I can't even keep up with all of them. So I don't know, ask Don Wright or Don Vasenko just had someone. I know she's been using them a lot. We can't hear you. I just, um, I haven't been messaging every single person in HHP, but those that have been um, either on my mind or most recently talked to, um, I did send them, I, like, I think it, for the very first one, I went through and I sent a message out to some, to some people. Um, those people that are for the very first one, I sent a message out to all the HHP people, those people who have commented back to me, I have then told them about subsequent ones. Um, but no, I'm not going out and telling them about every single one. It just happens to be like this Avocare person. Um, she specifically came to me and she's getting married next month. So I also know that money is tight. So I... You know, so did they, they offer free enrollment today? Mm -hmm. So why are you waiting to enroll her? Why can't she get the free enrollment? That's no better than what's happening on Friday. Or no. Why did, why, tell me why Erica told you to wait. <laughs> she said that, um, that they can probably, they can most likely double dip. Oh. So I'm going to guess for shipping. That. What? So why can she get, she has to use the code like today, doesn't she? Nope. It's good till Sunday. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. I see. I thought it was fun. Hey. I started. I mean, even I if you guys, even, I always play stupid because I don't know. Really, I don't totally know. I get it done, get them enrolled. But I mean, do whatever you want. I just don't want people thinking. Don't ever feel like you screwed someone. When they want to come, you enroll them. Okay. And if you make a decision that works out, otherwise, that's great. But don't ever feel. Does that mean, I just don't want anyone feeling like, oh, I didn't know, you know, most likely you didn't know. And you can always spin it that, who can you share this with? They can get free shipping, right? But if it makes any, never mind. Go ahead, what? I'm not arguing you, I just want people to see both sides. She's done, <laughs> okay. All right, anyone else? Okay. Well, you guys have a super, wow, we're done right on time. 9.30. Is ever Dawn, you're going to say something? 
You were waving or yes. doing something? Okay. Is Deanne still on? I don't see her. Did she ship my shirt? I don't know. I'll have to ask her. I did. And she said yes? She didn't answer me. Oh, I don't know. I saw Kim Jaw said she couldn't wait to get hers. But I know. Well, and I see Tyler there, like, boasting it in front of everybody. So I was like, where's my <laughs> shirt? Tyler posting I, his? No, boasting. Boasting? Oh, he's got a shirt on. Yeah. Okay. I have it on, so yeah. But I did. Um, oh, well, he did Super Saturday. That's why. Yeah. Everyone who's at Super Saturday got their I, Yeah. And I said, did you send it to us out of staters? Oh. Um, but I did get a super cool shirt with the new Isogenics gear that came out. Oh. Not a shirt, a sweatshirt, hoodies. Love it. I have to look. I haven't looked at it yet. Mm, it's blue. Do you have any actual hoodies or are they all the zip up ones? No, it's an actual hoodie. I didn't see, see Okay. I looked for like the guys and I didn't see any actual hoodies and I'd rather have an actual hoodie. So. Oh yeah. It's, it's a girl. Mm. Oh, the guys, there isn't one. I just saw the zip up ones. I didn't see any, like, oh, an actual hood on it. What's it say on the bottom? Passion, purpose, fun. Yeah. Cool. I like it. Nice. It's kind of girly, though. Yeah, I don't think I'd get it. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to rock it, but... Mm. You wear V-necks, right? I have a V-neck. <laughs> <laughs> guys, there's lots of guys' clothes that have V-necks. I just... It's... I, I feel weird doing it. I don't know. <laughs> that's I not one of the because just, he has a big Adam's apple. Like, I had one for a while, and I and I just I don't know. It's it's a weird thing for me. I like the, I like the the circle. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Round neck, the yes. circle. <gasps> All right. It's 9:32. You guys have a fabulous Thanksgiving. Very thankful for all of you and. Have fun on Friday. I hope wonderful things happen for you. There will be a special. <laughs> <laughs> go Big Red on Friday, right, Lori? What? Go Big Red on Friday. Yes, and Go Big Red will be me too. Oh, my God. We don't have a quarterback, Gina. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. He practiced tonight, today. Tommy did? Yeah. Oh, wow. He's likely to play. Oh, good news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last I knew, neither one of them were doing good and might not be in the game as of last mm -hmm. night. Okay, well, that's good. You might have a chance now. Okay, sorry, you guys. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.